Hi, this is Joachim for statisticsglobe.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a legend in a ggplot2 plot in the R programming language. So in the video I'm going to use some example data that we can create in lines 1 to 4 of the code. So if you run these lines of code you will see that at the top right of R Studio a new data set appears. And we can also have a look at the first few rows of this data set by running line 5 of the code. And then you can see here at the bottom in the RStudio console that our data contains three columns, X, Y, and a group column. Now, if we want to plot these data with the ggplot2 package, we need to install and load the package, as you can see in lines 7 and 8 of the code. I have installed the package already, so I'm just going to load it with line 8 of the code. And now we can draw a basic ggplot with the ggplot2 package as you can see in lines 10 and 11. So if you run these lines of code, you will see that at the bottom right of our studio, a new plot appears. And this plot is showing our data and uh, the different groups of the data are represented by different colors. However, you can also see that this plot is shown without a legend. So if we want to add a legend with the ggplot function, we uh, need to specify the color of our group within the aesthetics of our ggplot. And this is what you can see in lines 13 and 14. So here you can see that now the color is specified in line 13 within the aesthetics function. While in the previous example, the color was specified within the geom point function, as you can see here in line 11 of the code. So if you run lines 13 and 14, you will see that a new plot appears at the bottom right. And you can also see that this new plot contains a legend for our groups of our data. Yes, yeah, so that's basically how to draw a legend with the ggplot function in the R programming language. However, I want to show you a second alternative for the drawing of legends with the ggplot2 package. And this is what I'm going to show you next in lines 16 and 17. And in this case, I'm creating the legend based on the geom point function, as you can see in line 17 of the code. But the difference here of this line compared to the original example in line 11 is that now we are specifying the color aesthetics within the geom point function. So basically we are specifying the aesthetics of our data in uh, the ggplot function and the color is specified within the geom point aesthetics. So if you run these lines of code, you will see that exactly the same plot appears as in the previous example. So this is an alternative um, which is resulting in the same plot as before. Yeah, so this is basically what I wanted to show you in this video. However, if you want to learn more about the creation of legends in ggplot2 plots in the R programming language, then you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage I have recently published a tutorial in, in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you could check it out there. And furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me some feedback in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel in order to get notifications in future whenever I'm releasing new videos to the YouTube channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time.